what's popping goddess what's popping star seeds i have a beautiful guest today i'm gonna go ahead and let her introduce herself just tell us your name your sign and then one word to describe yourself hey y'all my name is christina or nia whichever um i'm 24 and i'm an aquarius sun and moon um, yes. among other things but major aquarius um from Ohio. Okay, okay. I love Aquarius energy. Y'all know I already resonate with her because we're both air. So starting off, I want to get into one of your talents. So how long have you been that amazing at makeup? And would you consider that for a career as far as in the acting world? Like, could you see yourself putting makeup on like monsters or fairies and stuff like that? Um, first of all, thank you. Um, and also, I was not allowed to wear makeup until I was 18, Ooh. or I guess 17 and a half. What the? Um, I was a late bloomer. I always uh, uh, felt like my eyes didn't look cute or whatever for it. Mm -hmm. um, like my senior year, I was allowed to wear like glitter, not glitter, but like shimmer. So like every morning, seven in the morning, I'm putting this same gold ass <laughs> elf eyeshadow, um, mascara, crazy brows. Mm -hmm. um, I went to college and then I slowly have been self teaching myself, um, kind of like that summer into college ever since. Okay. Um, I started doing. I'm always the person like going out. Art. Yeah, get over here. Like, yeah, I need help with my makeup. Yeah. Um, and then I kind of built myself up from my channel. I have taken like a step back from it, but in the same sense, I haven't because I started working weddings. Yeah. So now I really get the business it. aspect of it. Um, not to mention oh, learning hey guys. Skin. Sorry, you're good like, it was something on your screen I was like what the <clears throat> it's <sorry>. good now <laughs> you're good <laughs> um, learning different skin tones um, learning a different style of makeup like and that's funny I, everything I'm saying is kind of what you go off what you were saying mm -hmm. so yes I was in business because um, working for like eight hours and makeup goes by so fast you make so much money for weddings it's just, it's like 10 girls 12 right. girls you know the bride's and the bride so specifically it's created a love for me i'm like oh this is the quickest hustle slash money i could you know I could get. but aside from the monetary part of it um i love connecting with people i love the energy weddings are, are so much positive energy people are crying people are yeah. happy um it's me being an impact <clears throat> I, I think that's good for me mm -hmm. to see like things like that um and then in terms of, it's crazy that you say that because I know you're like into like the Comic-Con sort of stuff. Yeah. I actually have spit in, in the sense of like, I'll be watching Netflix show like, oh no, I could, let me get on there. Like, yeah. you know, for the basic character, the simple makeups. And that's where I feel like wedding makeup helps work because I get to learn techniques. Um, True. Stuff you can't find on YouTube, how to sanitize everything. Um, but I also have like in college you had to be approved to get into this sci-fi makeup class and I like shied away from it mm -hmm. and I always wish I would have took it to start learning like prosthetics and start learning things on nature because I think it's actually like I would love to be a zombie person for you know the Game of Thrones zombies or yeah. the Walking Dead or, That'd be cool. you know even just um in a sense of okay I want my eyes to look like you know a whole different eye shape you know like learning not with knowledge comes power and then I could you know what I mean so yes to all of your questions <laughs> yeah definitely and I asked that because I know you're ancient I only connect with ancient gods and goddesses emperors empress and that's true I feel that you have to like be feeling good with your job and that does make the time go by faster if you're actually passionate about your job so I definitely feel that I'm getting more into that like okay what makes me happy like as far as work and different hustles and things like that and I also um was into like painting when I was younger and I, I'm pretty cool at makeup I don't think I'm as good as you I think if I practice I could definitely get there but when it comes to the I'm gonna send you some stuff after this actually I never even thought to send it to you but I know how to do like black eyes and um I did zombie makeup on my dad one time for Halloween so I love all that I really feel like you could prosper in that world so most definitely and um since I started talking about monsters and um fairies how long have you been a star seed and when did you figure out you were basically is my question 
Um, it's kind of crazy that you just said that because I was going to comment on, um, so like obviously Aquarius, you know, the um, smartest of the zodiac, not, you know, being arrogant, but mm -hmm. I was a reader as a kid, like, you know, air, air signs or airheads, quote, quote, like laugh, ha, ha, we yeah, always have like I blonde moments, but like on the other end, I'm like a library. Mm -hmm. um, so the only type of stuff I would read as a kid is literally fantasy otherworldly vampires mm, werewolves me too. um fairies mm. uh realms um literally i have a whole book cage that or book cage book <laughs> uh, case downstairs that um i have issues like i kept all of my books i mean i love anything drama but anyway mm -hmm. um so i've always felt like you know, typical Aquarius, like, outcast sort of thing. So books were, like, my escape, um, you know, because I don't like anything ordinary. So I feel like maybe I've always known in a sense because I've never liked anything. I've always um, – so to answer your question, I feel like I've always known, but in the recent years, I – it's been clicking. Like, yeah. when I uh, – I've been in my apartment slash have my own space mm -hmm. for a year and a half, almost two years now. Cool. And I finally got, you know, built my room up to how I wanted. And with my bookshelf, I would look back on it. And I'm like, wow, you've always been obsessed with what people call the occult. Like, I've always, like, literally, like, no, like, love the idea of there being more. Yeah. Um, so I, I think that when I was little, um, my uncle bought me a solar system. And that's probably why I love, you know, my, I love her planets. Mm -hmm. I've, uh, I remember, like, Sorry, I'm a storyteller. Like when it's I was okay. like five, I, I remember I brought home this speak. <laughs> I brought home this drawing. Mm -hmm. Um and you know, what's the first thing you draw when you're little? The sky. Right. You know, trees. No, that's like, true. And I drew like a sun, like literally I remember I, I drew a sun, like in the corner of the page. I drew my clouds and like the teal crayon. Mm -hmm. I drew mountains in like a blue crayon, literally with ice on it and everything and it hills. Mm -hmm. And I brought it home and I colored it in everything, you know, in kindergarten. That's all right. we know. I brought it home. My mom and sister were like, you drew this? And I was just like looking at them like I was about to get in trouble. They're just like, how did you know what that looked like? Right. Um, you was channeling. They a lot of reading and they say that um, if you're attracted to elements and to things. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just like, wow, I've always been in, like, in love with the sun and just had a familiarity with the elements. Um, yeah. For you know, Obviously, this wouldn't be weird to you, but I, I got past life reading. Mm -hmm. uh, and I feel comfortable with disclosing it. The woman mm -hmm. told me, and the specific energy that she channeled my past life was something. She was like, "You might be obsessed with gardens or flowers." And I was just like, <laughs> "So, um, I feel like I don't know. I could ramble about it all day." But <laughs> like I said, my life is synchronization. But to answer your question, I have maybe always known. Mm -hmm. um, you you do you get like you basically get awakened at a certain point in your life or. Technically, you always awakening. Like you said, you was always studying, and then it kind of clicked. Like, you know, I feel no, like. No, seriously, it, it is kind of overwhelming sometimes. Like, um, I'll make this, like, really short, like, Zach and Rambles. You good, Aquarius. Um, it's these books I used to read, and it was about vampires, and it's called Marked. So, basically, they would get marked on the forehead with a, moon, a crescent moon. All mm -hmm. of the books have the moon on it. Um, it goes even deeper than that because in – their world, everything is about the matriarchal society, their goddess Nyx, NYX. Mm -hmm. They have so many stories in there, like they name off goddesses like Persephone and um, people like that. So it's like information woven. And I always say that they don't put stuff into places and movies and books for anything, you know? Exactly. Like when, you know, <clears throat> the government will be putting little, you know, mm -hmm. they don't just. They're giving us the download. You know They're I mean. telling us what so, we need to know. They, they, <laughs> so yeah. I. Feel like in the same look my back just started itching. So, um, <laughs> we connected <laughs> so in the um in the same sense it's just like the those books um what i'm getting at is she it's like a, it's about vampires and you go to vampire academy you get marked um and this girl she was different because she was like one of the only they're called fledglings like a, not a full blown vampire mm -hmm. um they would go to rituals and they would praise their goddess next 
mm-hmm. and they would turn in each direction for the elements and with each element she would feel it she would feel water waves on her water she feel a breeze on her hair and like no one else was special like that she had like all five elements like mm-hmm. uh, it was four in the spirit or something like that and i say all that to say like um because i have friends too and she told me she was like i feel like you need to get connected with the elements you need to draw energy like literally i could yeah I'm not even kidding. I literally lit this before, mm-hmm. and you were talking about fire earlier. So I think that's funny because, like, I don't know. I could call on fire and make me more creative or expressive. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, um, when it rains, it's a confidence booster off. too. Like, it enlightens you. Like, all the fire. I've never met a fire element that's like low on confidence. You know what I mean? Like, they're Literally. out there. <laughs> they're out there. And it, um, you know, I'm, I'm like into astrology, and I was just studying it yesterday. I have the fifth house which is leo Mm -hmm. five timing my chart and they were saying it something about like either you're overly confident or you're not gonna be happy until you're confident and it just hit me i'm just like but i shy away from fire energy so it's just like so funny like to hear something like that Mm -hmm. um but i don't know like just the some people think it's weird but i seriously say like some, like, you know, I'm all air sign, so, like, when I feel like frantic, I, and I feel like you can maybe relate to this, like, mm-hmm. if you go into the woods, if you go to somewhere to ground yourself, you yep. literally feel better. My room is literally in the basement. No, I, I feel like, you. I feel you 100%. Um, like, I, I was just... I think I don't know if you watched my other podcast, but she asked me a question, and I was like, like, just being out in nature, like, that helps me ground. That helps me... Um, it's crazy. Um, you know? You might see my confidence, because I was watching them earlier. Like, you might see my confidence. I literally was like... It just was... It was crazy. Um, Patricia, when I was watching you, uh, your, the, y'all's episode, it was just so, like, first of all, you I love resonated. what you're doing here. Because <laughs> it's, like, it's just, like, like, like you say, like, the layer effect, like, uh, oh. birds of a feather sort of thing, because I was able to, I was, I don't know, I was getting a, a lot of material along. I wanted to tell you that, by the way. But, okay, no, you're good. They, it just popped up that it's about to end in 10 minutes. I don't know how, because I put it for an hour. It's been an hour? Right, that's what I'm saying. I put it for an hour, so I don't get it. But anyway, we're going to move on. We're going to take our time. Um, But yeah, since we're talking about all that and like believing and stuff like that, you know, I did my research or whatever before I asked questions. So I noticed in your bio, it says believe and you can do anything on Instagram. So how important is that quote to you? And do you practice that in your everyday life? Like, how do you feel? Um. So I had a friend when I was like a teenager. His name was Tyler. Mm-hmm. Tyler, we weren't really close. Really, I had talked to this guy. And they went to the same school in Columbus. You know, high schools. Everybody just like dots connecting. Whatever. Mm-hmm. So you know, that's when Instagram first came about. And so it would just really. I'll watch his stuff. He'd just be super funny, super cool. Mm-hmm. He knew I'd mess with the old dude. Um, but then. I knew some other people, and he was friends with them. So, like, like I said, like dots. So, long story short, I ended up connecting him later. And like, at first, me and I, I don't, you know, it's so, it happened so long ago. Me and him just start texting. Mm-hmm. But then my best friend at the time, they start texting, and oh. they, you know, they really like hit it off. Yeah, you was so, meant to connect them too. <laughs> I was gonna say, me and him, we were just cool. He mm-hmm. was super funny. We were into the same music, whatever. Um, and then they start talking. All I know is that my senior year, um, literally, I'm about to graduate uh, the 11th of May, and sorry, I have to say it backwards like that. Um, <laughs> it's okay. And he passed away uh, on a mo- mm-hmm. like a motorcycle, or I don't know what happened. He's walking on the story is, I, to my knowledge, he's walking on the side of the freeway, and a motorcyclist smacked him, or something like I don't know. But mm-hmm. long story short. Um, believe you can do anything and his nickname was Tootie that's why it's like quote and then his name Tootie because mm-hmm. uh that's he sweet. said that was like like his grandfather nickname you know his house nickname like uh and I wonder if he like thinks it's weird to call him that because you know we weren't like fam but like that's literally yeah. how it was like, he, he he told it broke down the story with us like why you know um but anyways, uh, that was the last thing he ever posted was that video. He had a Chipotle bag in his hand, and he's walking, and he was just like, just kind of like the sun's beating on his face. He just has his head up. He's just like, hey, man, like, word of the day is believe. 
believe you can do anything. And he was like, fuck you talking about? <laughs> that, was like, that was just it. So when I, and I had posted this video, me listening to this Chris Brown song. Mm-hmm. And he had comment heart eyes, like, and I remember, I felt bad because I was talking shit to my friend, like, yo, he talked to you, nice, comment heart eyes on my stuff. <laughs> that morning, my intuition was so, but on the point, I opened up and posted a picture like, this can't be right, da, 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 da. and it just, once again, like I said, you, you go back and you start to see you always are in the line. How would I, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you was definitely meant to receive it, that. It just, you would, um, my, inter- my internet connection. It'll be all right, but no, you was definitely meant to receive I that. <laughs> you was definitely meant to receive that um that download goddess. Like it was, you know, I'm I'm sure it helped a lot of people during that time. But when something connects to you like that, I think it's important to keep spreading that. And of course, we all been going through a lot. We've all been having a lot of losses, especially these past you know years. And I know you can relate to, so would you mind opening up about the recent trauma you've experienced and like kind of where you are now, you know, with your um, near past mate, Casey? Um, if, if that's actually like a, a good question, because I feel like I didn't answer if you said, uh, do you apply it? Um, oh yeah, I didn't even get the it's answer. It's crazy because I have, a, um, I have a Pisces six house, Virgo mm-hmm. twelve house. Yeah. And I just hold on, guys. Six house is all about belief, religion, and like. Hold on. It's okay. I think you're good now. It was breaking up. Uh, I was basically just getting to like in my birth chart specifically. I have Pisces six house, mm-hmm. which states basically that like. What is Pisces? It's the the other realm, the literally all of that. Mm-hmm. So, um, like literally, this tattoo right here is for my Gigi. She was a Jehovah's Witness. Mm-hmm. Everyone has their own opinion about Jehovah's Witness. All I know is what I saw with my own eyes with my Gigi. She was a an upstanding woman. She lived to be ninety three. She she was everything. Mm-hmm. So growing up, seeing that, and then versus everyone who favors Christianity. Um, literally what you said in your video have never related so bad i take from each religion yeah and I, I take what i, mean, I feel it's... feels right for me mm-hmm. because i've never particularly felt comfortable saying i'm a christian yeah i've never not felt comfortable saying i believe in god or mm-hmm. the divine or Thanks. the higher power but just specifically like that maybe i'll say query to me like that I will. yeah um, so, like, I have my own family, like, I didn't know who God, like, hold on, bitches. I never said that. I, hold on. <laughs> Let's not mix words here. Right. But, um, <laughs> to all I can say, I've had always belief issues, um, and I feel like it stems from family as well. Like, my dad, he lost both of his parents early mm-hmm. on in his life, so my life teachings are a lot of what's in front of you is what's right. in front of you, because that's what he learned. Mm-hmm. Um. And the older I get, you know what I mean? I've gotten to deep conversations. Like, you don't think, you know what I mean? Anyways, because I can branch off into that. But um, belief is something specifically, I mean, I can say it in my life and I say it like I'm old, no, but like um, in the past five years, uh, I literally was journaling about the other day. Like, like belief is crazy. Um, so to segue into what you're saying, like, this has been, my back is itching again. This has been like the most difficult two years of my life. Like, mm-hmm. I hadn't been through, you know, everyone has, and I'm not saying this to take away from anyone, but I hadn't been through. Yeah, this is about you. So. From <laughs> you know, uh, starting mm-hmm. from childhood, I've, I've always been what they call like a spiritual warrior. Like, and that's also like an indication of being a healer, empath. Um, yeah, you know, I sense it. Going through a lot of stuff. Um, and so for me, I think about that, like, that's the faith portion of it. You know, just seeing what's in front of me, seeing what's in front of me, Illusion. seeing what's in front of me. Mm-hmm. Um, so belief is crazy to me because, for instance, um, I have two degrees. Um, I have a lot of, a couple of lists of accomplishments I should be prideful in. Um, but belief is crazy because when you go through something like a grief, it makes you feel not very, like, worthy of things no, um, for real. and it's so crazy this is very like beautiful how this is coming together because mm-hmm. um 
I got like a reading like around the time that he passed mm-hmm. like but like a birth chart reading just because I wanted to know myself better because I was like I felt like I was going crazy that I'm like I don't understand anything like I'm clear. like I said I'm, I'm so like logical mixed with the lack of religion mixed with the lack of like knowledge of the afterlife and I, I was really messed up and so yeah. the woman um something I feel like that can be shared with anybody the woman she told me for one this didn't happen to you this was an event of the universe mm-hmm. and just as anything in the universe everything has its season um so everything kicks off with aries energy with spring mm-hmm. and eventually winter has to come and then you know the season has to change yeah and that's what she said and it's crazy because i love game of thrones and that's what it is winter's coming and i and i and i always and i always say that now Mm -hmm. um so even though i knew him we me and him were friends for about like three years before we even dated Mm -hmm. and it was a slow burn that was the most incredulous eight months of my life like i just you know what i mean so all that to say um you ask where I'm at now. Mm-hmm. For one, I'm doing really good because I haven't cried talking about it. Which no, feel how you feel. Um, and for two, I just had a conversation with a woman. She lost her boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And today, I, I finally asked her, I'm like, can I please ask you a question? Because mm-hmm. I'm not the only one. I'm not the only person that's lost their partner. And I'm, I'm so young, so I have guilt, I guess, like, yeah. you know what I mean? How, how am I supposed to have a lover after? My bad, star seeds. I thought I put the meeting for longer, but definitely didn't. <laughs> but we're going to speak regardless, because this information needs to be out there. So go ahead and continue where you left off. Um. <coughs> Sorry. You're good. So... I don't know specifically where I left off, but I know that I was bringing up to today specifically. Yeah, like where you are now, basically. uh, The alignment in my life is sometimes inexplainable or uh, unexplainable. Mm -hmm. Um, I I spoke with this woman today and I I basically asked her. She went through basically very similar. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Um, after I started this, I attracted so many people that have been through a similar, if not the same thing as me. Mm-hmm. And from each woman that I connect with that has been through this, I, I, I pick up new pieces of information from each of them. Um, you know, cause everyone has a different experience. Everyone's different. And this girl, we were just, we were in this engagement group a couple years ago. Like, mm-hmm. uh, it was like 20 of us, and we were all just supposed to engage with each other to help. And it yeah. was cool. But me and her, we're like one of the last, she's like one of the last people that I had left from that. Mm-hmm. Um, and all I know is that she was in love. And then suddenly she just posted, you know, RIP. Mm-hmm. And i just noticed she just she's like a little rock star literally she's like that type of vibe she's always doing videos she's to me she, she's so pretty and like mm-hmm. i say all this to say like i had to ask her i'm like girl i gotta ask you a question mm-hmm. how, how are you living like right um and so i essentially asked her i'm like i don't even really know what i'm asking you but i have this this crazy guilt that I cannot shake mm-hmm. every time for every good day for every accomplishment for every year older than I turn than him for every little reminder for every t- little I, I feel you know what I mean like guilty if I go a day without posting him just literally psychological things like that and mm-hmm. you know I need uh, maybe it's the new moon but I needed some guidance yeah, it's the and, new moon for sure too <laughs> And it's, and it's insane because, it, like I said, this goes back to belief. Had I have been brought up, not saying I'm, I'm, I'm upset because, you know, I just was brought up in realism. That's how a lot of black households are. 
Yeah. And my parents would bring up God sometimes, like, you know, just have faith, believe. Right. But, like I said, I'm a concrete person. Um, you know, perception is your reality in every form. So, um, I, I never had that. You know, I went to plenty of funerals when I was little, and they were sad. I cried because I'm an empath. You know, they're sad they died. I went to my own great grandma's funeral, didn't shed one tear mm-hmm. because she was that peak. Um, so, uh, it's crazy because, like, I'm very obsessed with the language of Spanish, and in the Hispanic culture, they have El Dio, El Dia de los Muertos. Mm-hmm. The day of the dead. Yeah, it's like the movie Coco. Mm-hmm. They honor their afterlife with yes, with, with the ofrenda, the offerings, the the rituals. Mm-hmm. The they are happy. They celebrate them. And mm-hmm. Like, um, especially after having that conversation, it's so crazy. I was like, like today, like mm-hmm. she was like, I was sad for a moment, and I have my days, but he's not gone. Facts. He's here. You just have to bring me in. And my ego, you know, wants him. And, but I, I'm not, me and him started dating when I was 21. I'm, I'm 24. Like, you know, like, so where I am today, where I am now, for one, I am, I'm, I'm grateful for the love because I never let anyone in and I let him in, which is maybe I, I really feel like that's the main, you know what I mean? I'd be so on why it didn't work. And I just feel like maybe we just collide paths for whomever, you know, the divine whoever to show me like, no, this is what love is. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's been the hardest of pills to swallow that. And I guess, that's exactly it because grief isn't just losing someone Mm -hmm. you can get ghosted by someone you're talking to you can fall out with your best friend yeah you can stop talking to your parents grief is the absence of someone that you love and i've been grieving my whole life Mm mm-hmm but I want to add on. Yeah, I want to. Go ahead. I was just all that to say, like, you know, in, you know, finality, like, we don't own anybody. If you believe in God, if you believe in the divine, like, we're a, a spirit, a soul that signed a contract with God, agreed to live here to have a human experience. And so, experience can be good or bad. And it's either your lessons or your blessings for your your soul Mm -hmm. to elevate or be stuck in karmic cycles. Yeah. So, I don't know where I messed up my karma. It couldn't even, you know what I mean? It could be from somewhere so long ago. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it sucks that this is the karma that I got. Like I said, it didn't happen to me, but in some form, you know, the very time and they knew he only had 24 years. So, or 23, excuse me. Mm-hmm. So, and I have a, um, I'll, I'll be real, like I'm sugarcoating it. I have a, or I used to have like a possession issue with men or, you know, partners I would talk to. Like afterwards, I would, I would have holding on issues. Mm-hmm. So with this, I'm having an extreme, obviously, holding on issue. All that to say, we don't, we don't own anybody. We're here to have a human experience. You experience people, and right now, I'm just learning to be appreciate the now, cherish the love that was given to me, and I'm trying my best to unlock my heart chakra again. Mm-hmm. Because when you go through something sudden, all you can think of is defend yourself. Yeah, that's real. And for a while, I couldn't. I couldn't breathe. You know, like literally, I could feel my heart breaking. I couldn't. I could not breathe. So now it's me training myself and reprogramming my brain that it's okay to have a happy life. It's okay to have a partner if that's what I want. Mm -hmm. It's okay that I wasn't supposed to be with him. And 
it's a part of my life's purpose to tell his story like facts and you so. and you doing that and just keep doing that regardless and you already know we spoke prior to this and of course i'm always sending you healing there's nothing anybody can say or nothing anybody can do but except for you like you said i really love what you said when you said your perception is your reality because it is just that if you choose to look at situations like this in a negative light and if you choose to let that it's crazy because i was watching this charmed episode today and um i don't have you ever seen charmed I fucking love that show. Yes, girl. Girl, I was rewatching it today and I seen the episode where um I forgot, I think it was a dark lighter, but basically with these low vibrations and these things happening, I'm not gonna say it's not just sporadic sometimes and unfortunate things don't happen, but I will say most of the time it's a negative force at play. So basically in the episode, um it was a dark lighter being in people's ear. You know when people do suicide and stuff like that, um he was in their ear like making them do it he couldn't literally push them but he was giving them the low vibrations and making them feel worth worthless like making them feel like okay um nobody cares about you blah 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 and then it happened to prue which is the main sister if you guys don't know charmed but anyway prue she was like the most powerful sister and he got in her head too no matter what she lost the lover just like you um andy in the beginning and even her with that episode she just said i feel like he's here like you know i, I see it differently now because he's here but anyway long story short with that episode um they saved her and they they realized like okay it was something else at play like i'm not it's not me i don't just have this bad luck like this these aren't my thoughts she kept saying that but then that negative entity kept trying to take her over and the reason i'm expressing that is because i feel like with a lot of us star season us chosen people it's like for some reason it's harder or it's worse in this realm and it's all about your perception like you said like definitely keep living goddess he wants you to keep living he wants you to have fun and to anybody else out there going through something similar those high vibrational ancient energies they can't they literally can't be around low vibrations like they they've evolved past that literally depending on who they was on in this realm but anyway they can't um fathom that energy and they're going through a lot like they already seen all their past lives so basically the more at peace and the more you have serenity the more you can connect to their energy and that's for anybody out there so it's definitely a hard situation it's, and i i want you to keep talking about it no matter what like don't pretend to be okay you know it's, um, it's kind of crazy to say that because um So yeah, your perception is your reality. So I can choose to believe he's here. He's with me. Mm -hmm. He is. He's probably like talking mad shit because <laughs> I'm being dramatic, but. No, nah, he's loving you. You know, or I can choose to, I'm not gonna lie. And I have to say this part, you know, before we end it. Like, mm -hmm. In certain areas of my life, I've went backwards. Like, I'm grief impacts me so hard. Yeah. So, I just, I just feel like people should just be kind with themselves because mm -hmm. I literally, like, will drive my own self crazy. Like, well, you're supposed to be feeling like this. Like, I just feel like grief is, well, one day you're going to be feeling like, you go to the club, mm -hmm. have some fun, yeah. get lit. And the other day, I just want to be in my bed, mm -hmm. eat ice cream, yeah. find any article that makes me feel close to this man. Um, but I just had a download today, and I'll share it with you guys. Uh, my baby, he was obsessed with animals. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not an animal person. It's funny because most empaths love animals animals mm -hmm. purposely fuck with me like i don't know what the issue is they will not leave me alone so i don't oh, really just don't like animals like, <laughs> and he loves he loves animals and mm -hmm. when i say animals have not left me alone in the last year mm -hmm. like but like even worse like i'm talking yeah a freaking raccoon in my attic a bird trapped in my no, laundry not. room a hella <laughs> Um, a toad, spiders, a frog, uh, um, a bunny, 
Yeah, he's trying to talk to you. Bird, birds swooping down like super close in front of my windshield, like mm-hmm. majestic birds. Yeah. Right? And some people could think it's it's nothing, um, you know. And there's so much more I could disclose. Obviously, that's a whole other conversation. But mm-hmm. I feel like that's something important that people should learn. Like you said, perception is your reality. You have to learn to listen. And exactly what you said, be still. Um, uh, the other day I was crying and I don't like to cry because I've cried so much but as someone told me crying is cleansing your soul mm-hmm. crying told is you correctly. a high vibration and, and I, I just learned how to pray in the last year whenever you're crying and that's why I pray the most when I cry because mm-hmm. that's when my heart is open um, it's like channel frequencies mm-hmm. if God is on 107.5. I got to attune to 107.5. You, know I mean? you so, have to feel those feelings. Uh, you have to be present with yourself. And, and my sister kind of gave me a piece of information I think was a download and she doesn't even know it. But she was like, because I was like, how can I move on if I don't know why this happened? I keep asking them for a sign, but no one will tell me anything. She was like, well, are you going to let them show you a sign? You don't live no more. And I just looked at it like I didn't have nothing to say. Like, right. Like you know me, I'm just gonna sit there. Like, <laughs> no, and that's all air like, signs. When just... when somebody tells them correctly, it's like, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> For real. So, and I just wanna. With that being said, go ahead. I just said your girls just learned how to live again. Yeah. And. I just want to tell you I'm thankful for this conversation because it, I'm going to probably watch this over and over again to get even more full circle moments out of it. But I just feel like, um, just thank you. No, thank you. Because it's, it's a lot to unpack. Mm-hmm. And considering we, not saying we connect because of that and because I know that you personally have went through grief. That's mm-hmm. why I say it, it's not specific this, the, everything are, are cycles mm-hmm. and, um, and right now I don't know where I am I'm probably in a water season because I'm crying but mm-hmm. it, it just no the new moon is in uh, cancer I, I don't so. want to <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to wish my life away but for one I can't wait to meet him again like I really can't wait to meet him again yeah, you will but for two I can't wait because I feel like a death like his is powerful. And that's why I, I will never stop saying justice for him because he's gonna change the world. And and I don't speak that confidently on nobody thinking my baby's gonna change the world. Mm-hmm. And he already so, has. And... They took him, but it's, but it's for something so grand that I can't value it yet. And before I forget, so, before we wrap this up, I wanna say, you said something earlier like, he wasn't meant to be in your life that's false he was meant to be in your life you guys were meant to be together because if that wasn't true you wouldn't have been together everything happens for a reason it does get unfortunate and i do feel like there is more low vibrations at play but we're not gonna get into that into this episode i don't care how long this is because we speaking for real right now so he definitely was meant to be in your life and he was that was the true love and I, I really felt what you were saying and I just want to thank you goddess for being vulnerable and expressing your emotions and I think this is really going to touch a lot of people because so many people can relate actually and I couldn't even you know some people don't make it after stuff like that and I'm I'm not even gonna lie I feel like I, I you know I'm always wishing high and good things but I don't know I don't know if I would have been able to make it so I'm just um gratitude to you for like sharing your story and being here because we need more ancient goddesses like you like I said it's something trying to take us out and I'm just so happy that you're still choosing to live and choosing to be in that vibration no matter if it's low sometimes you still keep going forward so like you said you can't beat yourself up and you can't um blame yourself because that's the first thing with grief because but let me explain something about grief to everybody with that that whole word it just states that there was great love there so that's something you can kind of swift the in- switch the energy to with it's like okay the fact that these emotions are that deep it's like okay that was true love and now i know what that is and that was part of the mission so 
I just want to express. It's crazy that you say that. I'm so sorry to cut you off. No, but, you're good. Um, I just I just tweeted it yesterday, and that's the air sign shit. Me and my <laughs> sister always cut each other off. But <laughs> no, all air signs like, do it. It's okay. <laughs> I was like, thank you for that because I just tweeted it yesterday. It was re- you know someone else said it, but it stuck with me. It said, "Grief is love, with nowhere to go." Mm-hmm. But if you alter your reality that the love is still here and in it is scientifically energy can't be created nor destroyed mm-hmm. and for the life of me no matter how much i don't want to feel like this i do mm-hmm. you know if it looks like it does act like it, you know what i mean so like <laughs> yeah said, like I, I love that because it, it's not you're gonna make me cry you know yeah so it's just you i should look at it like that not so everyone always says like I remember one time his grandma bought I me mean, for Christmas. She bought me some lotion and some perfume and these pictures of me in it. And I looked at it and my tear, my eyes just start welling up. Like I'm a little freaking baby. Like, mm-hmm. and she was just like, oh, I didn't want to make you upset. I just thought you might want some pictures of you guys. And I know you guys have hearts. I mean, me and him used to fight. Like we're both, yeah. we both, he was an Aquarius too. I have to shout that out. Aww. Um, Aquarius And game. so he's getting used to just, we just used to go at it, you know, <laughs> real air sign. What? Yeah. It just, um, his brother was just like, no, nah, they had some good times too, you know, kind of defending, you know, the comment of it. And mm-hmm. they hit me, I'm like, damn, am I so far in my grief? People don't even think uh, we had a good time, you know, like, yeah. so. Um, and like you said, it, it, the grief shows that there, there was, an incredible amount of love, mm-hmm. an eternal amount, of, an unbreakable amount of love, and so you ask me where I'm at right now. I'm trying to reprogram myself. Like, okay, let me look back at those eight months, and mm-hmm. we were in a pandemic, and we're on lockdown, and I spent, like I said, that was divine timing because I, I, you know, when it, when am I gonna have that? Yeah, those circumstances again. That was the time to, to be with to yourself know, to get to know someone. Mm-hmm. I was freshly graduated from college. I didn't have no money. I didn't have no car. I'm not, like, it was just pure, raw love. Like, mm-hmm. So I got to change my person. I'm not trying, you know, because I, like you said, they, I have a great, my, my name is Purpose. I, there's a great purpose here. Mm-hmm. To tell the story, to tell my story. Uh and I just got to start looking at it like, man, like I had a man that loved me, you know? Yeah. And I, I don't care how corny it sounds. I don't care how that's all I've ever wanted, you know? Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> so perception is everything and you're just right because I got to, or, you know, most people have said it, but I got to, I didn't end on the get the note with him. So I focused on not a lot, but I had a lot of good time and, mm-hmm. That opened my eyes. Like he used to say, it, like I can just tell. Like you haven't been with anyone that really likes you. Like, and, and I don't know. I, I guess I just thank God because for one, he was beautiful, <laughs> and for two, I needed that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and I just got to like, start redirecting my mind. You know. Yeah, and he's gonna feel that, and you're gonna feel like intensely more connected to him. So again, I just have to back to that coco movie you was talking about like we have we must start celebrating people that ascend and transcend more i don't even like the word death that's not even in my frequency because i don't believe in that because when something died i just mean that it's gone forever like i don't know the exact definition that's not a, and that's what i'm saying that's not american yeah you know what i mean they, i'm sorry that's a whole different conversation the other every other culture believes in the afterlife exactly well, you know reincarnation mean, like, the psychological anyways that's what yeah. you know me but just exactly like nah and that's and that's real and that's um i was just talking to my family about that too like we gotta start like certain things i do i have a whole um like shrine i guess you would say like we have to start doing that more put in p- their pictures up don't hide their pictures i'm not gonna lie with certain things i've been through i kind of i kind of stay away from um opening up things and you know what i'm saying but i'm i'm gonna get more out of that i have to get out of that you know because um they need it's kind of like obviously santa claus isn't real but the things like 
like what you was talking about uh, earlier with the different elements, like the sun, um, fire, whoop de woo. Anyway, if you stop believing in something, then it'll just cease to exist. Like, so like in that Coco movie, when you notice he, they never put that picture up of him again, he was fading away. And like, just because they've transcended to the highest realm, it's new for them too. So them feeling like we're mad at them or they're them feeling like um, we're angry or we, we hate them, you know what I'm saying? It, it repels their energy and it makes them, you know what I'm saying? It makes them wanna be more alone too. So everybody watching, definitely always remember that. Um, I try to just lie, go with the I flow. Have, I, that's deep, that is so deep, man. But it, I definitely want to, before we wrap it up, um, if you have a question, uh, go ahead and ask me. But if not, then it's cool. But I just had to say that for sure. Um, <laughs> that's the same question I ask my other friend or, you know, whatever, um, mm -hmm. other female that has been through very similar, you know, type of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, Because for one, you were like the most giddy looking, like, <laughs> I just want to sit your ass down when I see you on the internet. You're just like, you're just everywhere. Like, um, so I just, I just want to know, like, and this might sound corny, but like, how do you smile? How do you not feel, same question, how do you not feel guilty for living when things mm -hmm. didn't go as planned? The, mm -hmm. you know the original intent because when I look at you like and that's what's crazy because that's a lot how a lot of my family is I know it's a it's bigger than me mm -hmm. everyone goes through punches and hits and yeah and, and you know everyone else is able to keep ahead that's why my family's frustrated because they're like girl stand up I'm like how like how am I supposed to see the light so mm -hmm. how, how did you see the light how do you live that's a that's a good question and, and firstly like no offense to anybody that's ever told you that but um they they low-key bsing because nobody takes this lightly like nobody people are good pretenders people are good actors in front of a lot of people but i promise you the people that seem oh giddy i'm not talking about myself i'm just talking about people that might say that to you not really your family but just anybody that comes that you if you come across somebody in your path and they're like girl just get over it uh girl let it go they're low vibrational because even if they're not low vibrational, they're getting that download from a low vibrational place because they're not over shit from their childhood. You get what I'm saying? They're not over shit from that happened a year ago. So long story short with that, um, no, right. definitely ignore that because that's not, you know what I'm saying? I, I get people try to help you and they're just like, well, just let it, just be happy. Just no, but that's selfish because you're not happy. You know what I'm saying? You have to heal and you have to go through those emotions. So to answer your question i just like we were talking about i i like to celebrate people i don't i'm gonna be i'm gonna keep it a buck i don't do funerals so don't ever invite me to one it, it could be it could be someone super close to me and i'm not going because for one it's too much energy for me and i don't like the concept of it and i don't like how much it costs i don't resonate with anything about it you know what i'm saying when when i go i just need my bones with the earth or shed me in the in the fucking ocean I don't don't put me in a casket I don't want nothing traditional so I just try to make them proud you know what I'm saying I'm gonna open up about my story later I'm gonna have a documentary coming but long story short I just everything I do <laughs> is just to make them proud and like I know they're watching so it's like I don't want them to look down and be like disappointed so just spreading light and you know doing my passions being me that keeps me going like that keeps me smiling that i'm here and i get to change this and use that energy to help somebody else so i almost got emotional but <laughs> no nah, I, don't, I don't care if i get emotional but it's just like i do have my moments i'm not gonna lie like i get real real low and like you said when you're in that moment you have to remain low but i'm most of the time it's high and that's because of my perception and it's like I've foreseen, I'm very clairvoyant, I've been this way for a while, but now I'm at the point where I can um, control it. So I've foreseen what's meant to come for me, and I've foreseen what could come if I choose to be in that low vibration. And I'm not going to lie, when I was younger, younger, I used to feel nothing, like no, nothing, like um, 
th that really touched me when you, when you was like he showed you love because a similar person did that for me too and it's like I don't ever want to not feel anything again that's worse than anything you get what I'm saying so I choose love and light I choose to spread positivity and nothing's ever going to stop me <laughs> I don't care you know <laughs> and I appreciate you for asking me that question <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for everything, like, God. Huh? I said, I'm gonna rewatch this over and over again. Yeah, so this is gonna be watched is, like, for me too, over and over again. You, you, some things you said definitely helped me. So I just want to give gratitude to you again. I'm sending you healing and take your time and don't let nobody tell you no BS. <laughs> and um, thank you. And go ahead and sh uh, shout out your social media and then let me know the one you want me to link below. Um, I mean, I guess my Instagram, but pretty much all of mine have my name in it, but it's Crispina Lee. Okay, y'all make sure y'all go follow her. Oh, now this one saying it's going to end in 10 minutes. We don't care. We're going to speak as long as we want to speak. <laughs> but yes, extreme gratitude. I'm so <laughs> grateful. I think I'm going to, this is probably going to be one of my favorite episodes. But thank you again. I'm sending you love and light and thanks everybody for watching. All right, peace. Talk to you later.